Marty Cohn, and welcome to episode 34 of Rotary Cares, an award-winning monthly show that will tell you everything you want to know about Rotary International and more. Rotary is a global network of 1.2 million neighbors, friends, leaders, and problem solvers that come together to make positive, lasting change in communities at home and abroad. Established over 115 years ago, Rotary now has 35,000 plus clubs all over the world. Rotary's motto is service above self and Rotarians adhere to the four-way test, a nonpartisan and non-sectarian ethical guide for Rotarians to use in their personal and professional lives. The test has been translated into more than 100 languages and Rotarians recite it at club meetings. Of the things we think, say, or do, is it the truth? Is it fair to all concerned? Will it build goodwill and better friendships? Will it be beneficial to all concerned? In Brattleboro, there are two clubs, the Brattleboro Rotary Club that meets every Thursday over lunch and the Brattleboro Sunrise Rotary Club that meets every Wednesday over breakfast. During COVID-19, both clubs meet via Zoom. Today, we will be discussing Rotary Youth Exchange. Our guests are Chairperson of District 7870 Youth Exchange, Jim Rumrell, who is also a past president of Ludlow Rotary Club, and a youth exchange student, Paul Metzer, from Germany. Both of these gentlemen have appeared as guests in episode 26 back in May of 2020. Welcome, Jim and Paul. Thank you. Good to be here. Thank you. All right. Thanks for thanks for coming back on the on the show. Jim, I'm going to start with you. Um, just just to remind us, um, how long have you been involved in Rotary? I've been involved in Rotary since March of 1990. So 31 years. Wow. Okay. And um, you were, as I mentioned before, you're a past president of the Ludlow uh, Vermont Rotary Club. Where, where and when does the, the Ludlow Rotary Club meet? Well, when we're able to meet in person again, uh, we meet at DJ's Restaurant on Main Street in Ludlow. We meet at 1215 every Tuesday. And it's a, it's a lunch club. It's a great group of people. And right now it's all Zoom. Uh, but we're still getting together and doing the, as much work as we possibly can remotely. Great. Yeah, we're all in that. And we're all looking forward to uh, the day when we're going to be able to get together. So uh, for more than 40 years, I looked this up, Rotary Youth Exchange has been one of Rotary's best known programs. What's, what's been the impact of COVID-19 on the program? Well, COVID-19 has essentially shut it down <clears throat> because we're dealing across borders all over the world. Excuse me. Um, there's, there's just, there's no way to, to travel right now. So it, uh, starting last March, when we went into lockdown, uh, countries went into lockdown as well. So students, some students stayed, some students left. Our students who are outside the country on Rotary Exchange all over the world, uh, some came home, some stuck it out until the end with the restrictions that they had. Um, so it's had, it's had quite an impact and right now the program is shut down, um, and it'll, for the coming year, it, there'll be no official activity. So, so th there's something called the Eastern State Student Exchange or Essex, and that's mm -hmm. a consortium of Rotary districts that organize Rotary Youth Exchange programs. What, what's Essex doing to get this program up and running again, Jim? Well, internationally, we're working with all of the Rotary districts around the world that, that send and host students and trying to figure out what is going to work in the future for their, their countries. The first thing they need to do is make sure that everyone in their own country is safe and then determine how much travel in and out of the country they're, they're comfortable with. Um, and that's what this coming year is going to give us is that opportunity to work with those Rotary partners around the world. And then in, in our 35 Rotary districts that are encompassed in Essex, uh, we are training. We're constantly training on how to do this better. Um, what are the best safety protocols for dealing with, uh, with teens? Um, how can better educate Rotarians, better educate host families? 
and doing everything we can to keep this, this program in the spotlight so that when we're ready to start recruiting our own students to go out, um, which will happen, we'll start recruiting this summer and into the fall for students who wanna go out the next year um, so that we're ready to do this and, uh, and get right back into it. About right. between eight and 9,000 students do this every year and we want those opportunities to open up as fast as it's possibly safe to do it. So wait, uh, so when you say the exchange, so we have students going out and then, and you're also arranging for students to come in? Absolutely, yeah, it's a, it's a true exchange. If we're sending 20, if we're hosting 20 students, we're probably sending 20 students out. So our local high school students in Vermont and New Hampshire have the opportunity to go out and do exactly what Paul did, but of course Paul did it here in Vermont from Germany. All right, so, so Paul, um, just re remind us, uh, when, when did you um, participate in the program? So I started to get recruited like, I think it was the year before I went to the US. And then last year in, no, two years ago in August, I went to go to the US and I stayed there till I think it was July beginning of July. So it was about 11 months. Okay, great. Now, so let me ask you, Paul, um, in terms of being recruited, why did you want to be a uh, Rotary Youth Exchange student? Uh, well, I have always wanted to be an exchange student uh, and preferred to go to the US. And I think a big influence for me was my dad, who was an exchange student himself over 30 years ago. And uh, I picked the Rotary Youth Exchange because they had like a great program for young people like me. And yeah, it turned out to be the right decision. Fantastic. All right, well, we're gonna, we're gonna take a quick break for this message on how Rotarians see opportunities and possibilities in their communities around the world. We'll be right back after this brief message. Possibilities are all around us. Everywhere we look, we see opportunity. We see potential in unexpected places. And when we share our knowledge, vision, and connections, We turn great ideas into action in communities all around the world that we call home. Like transforming an old bus to feed hungry children or providing life-saving equipment to those who need it most. From fighting disease to rebuilding schools, together we can make real change happen. We're Rotary. We are people of action. Get involved today at rotary.org. Welcome back to Rotary Cares, a monthly award-winning show that demidifies Rotary International. Our guests are Chairperson District 7870 Youth Exchange, Jim Rumrill, who is also a past president of Ludlow Rotary Club, and Paul Metzer from Germany, a youth exchange student. So we were, we were talking, um, you know, the, the Rotary Club of Copenhagen, Denmark, initiated the first Rotary Exchange back in 1927, and the Rotary Club of Nice, France, followed suit soon in 1929. And back then, um, exchanges took place during school vacations for only a couple of weeks. Paul, how, how, long, how long was your exchange? And I know it got, probably got cut short, but how long was it supposed to be and how long did it end up being? Uh, well, so I went here by, the, by July, the end of July. And yeah, I stayed the whole time and uh, Corona really didn't bother me so much because I had a great host family and a great host brother. 
And so I stayed the whole time till uh, the end of July and it was about like 11 months. Great. Now, now um, the primary purpose of the youth exchange is to provide a cultural exchange. Uh, Paul, you were hosted by the Rotary Club of uh, Bethel, Vermont. Um, what are, what are one or two of your most memorable experiences? I think to meet all those different people, either from around the world or from Vermont itself. And also the way Americans live in compared to us German was like really good experience and I just enjoyed it. Now, have you been able to stay in touch with your, your host family? Yes, yes. So I'm talking to them like every other day and I also had like Zoom meetings with them every every month about yeah that's great and and you and the group that you that you came with are you able to stay in touch with them as well through Zoom or other ways yeah well I I tried to and also stay with them like with emails and text messages and I also want to visit them at some point yeah so so. Um, so in the in the time that you were in uh, uh, um, uh, Bethel, uh, Vermont, um, you got to and again it's uh, it's really unfortunate about you know COVID coming in, but um, you know when you think back on it now, um, is there you know something that you really miss and you you want to come back to the U.S. and do again? I actually live uh, at miss like all everything. It was it was such a great experience and I miss the people I miss the sports I played there I miss the high school yeah it's, it was just a great year and I can just recommend it to everyone out there let me ask you this what about maple syrup do you miss that yes I also took some of them uh, home here so we can have a little bit yeah Is, so you brought so you brought a, a souvenir back to back home to, to yes. share the experience yeah, yeah. That, that's right what else what other souvenirs did you bring? I, I also brought like, I think five or six packs of bagels because I like them so much. Yeah, that was, that was everything I think. Also a couple that, of clothes and stuff I bought here, yeah. That's, that's fantastic. So, so again, it's, it's been, um, you know, it's been a few months. How do you think the Rotary Youth Exchange has impacted your life? I think it has changed my whole life. And even though I didn't notice it, but I changed myself too. And my friends and family members confirmed that. And I can just recommend it to everyone to do an exchange here around the world and to just visit other countries because it will change you and will change your look on life and yeah, other people and other cultures. Now, now are you gonna stay involved with Rotary? Yes, I also there. So we have here in Germany, in my city, we have like a Rotary youth, I would say. So like people, people who are young and want to join Rotary, they can. And when they are older, they also can join like the grown Rotary club. Now, yeah. now correct me if I'm wrong. Did, didn't you get like a a special jacket or some uniform to to wear as a as yes. part of the youth exchange yeah that was you crazy. still have that jacket yeah that's actually a funny story i left it but i yeah i left it in in the u.s because i my my uh suitcases were full and i forgot that it was still hanging in the closet there so when i was at the airport we thought about that jacket and yeah I forgot it but I will go back this year probably so I will take that home with me as a souvenir. Okay well I Jim I think um, I think the the district should think about uh, wrapping up that that jacket and sending it to sending it to Paul. It, absolutely this is the first I heard that he he left it here in Vermont but we could certainly get it to him. Uh, I, I yeah absolutely I, I think he I think he should because he, he'd be a, he's a wonderful ambassador for not only the youth exchange but also for for rotary yeah no question about that we uh, we took advantages of his uh, skills while he was here with us as well he's a great ambassador for both sides of the program so so um, Jim and Paul thanks for taking the time to to be on the show 
Um, by the way, I, I usually give a shout out to the to Brattleboro Sunrise Rotary Club past president Kevin Yeager for doing the magic behind the cameras. And I look forward to the day when we can actually return to the BCTV uh, studio. Um, uh, speaking of BCTV, I want to thank them because not only did they recognize the Rotary Clubs of Brattleboro as the 2018 nonprofit member of the year, but they also recognized me, I got two of them, as host of the uh, 2020 host of the year. So it's a real, real exciting honor. Um, Absolutely. I want to I want to thank Brian Bashaw for helping us bring the the show to you. If you have any questions, concerns for or even ideas for future topics, send them to info at Brattleboro Rotary Club .org, Info at Brattleboro Rotary Club .org. I'm Marty Cohn. Thanks for watching.